leaking toilet system is a common problem that we often face and making sure that your toilet system is well maintained will save you from water wastage, thereby saving you money. This is a very easy fix that you can achieve with a few products from your local builders. A cistern is basically a reservoir system that holds water so you can flush the toilet. The inlet valve supplies the water, the float valve arm controls the water fill level and then the outlet valve at the bottom opens and flushes the toilet. There are other options such as a dual flush universal mechanism. This is a bivalve which allows you to do a half or full flush. There are two buttons and each has a separate release mechanism. So if you do have a leak from your cistern, it's either one of these three parts or you have a cracked toilet. However, the solutions are really easy. First is to shut off the water supply. Flush the water to empty the cistern and use a sponge to remove any remaining water. Now we can check the inlet valve. To remove the ball float, simply unscrew the fastener. Now this is made of plastic, so you can probably turn it by hand. But if it's too tight, use a plumbing spanner, give it one gentle turn and then unscrew it by hand. Pull the split pin out, disassemble the filling mechanism by removing the rubber seals. Now it's important here to check to see that the jet sprayer is not clogged. If so, simply use a pin to clear any blockages. Now this o-ring rubber seal often gets worn out and it leads to the filling mechanism not shutting the water off properly. This is an old one. This is what a new one looks like. So if it looks like this, replace it. Insert the jet sprayer, set the seal, place the second rubber and then reassemble the mechanism. Now to check the water outlet valve, twist the housing to the left to remove the flushing mechanism and inspect the rubber seal at the bottom. This one has a slight tear in it and that would certainly cause a slight leak. So I'll replace it by gently pulling the seal over and into place. Also ensure that the siphon outlet with the seal sits is clean. Replace the outlet valve with a simple turn to the right and reattach the filling mechanism and the float arm. Turn on the water, let it fill, check again for leaks. Now, if your toilet is overfilling and the water is running through the overflow and into the bowl, simply bend the arm downward slightly, which will stop the water at a lower level. If the leak is coming from the main line that joins to the sewer, it may well be the wax seal that needs to be replaced. If you want to know how it's done, Kev did a clip on how to replace a wax seal. Click the link in the description below. Really easy guys, don't be afraid to tackle those easy plumbing jobs. All the parts and tools are available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.